Are you a person of excellence? Huh, have you thought of that question? Do you ever think of the answer to that question? I'm curious. I have stumbled upon it a couple times and I am going to admit right now, right here, in front of you all, that I admit to not being a person of excellence. I know it hurts really hard to hurts really hard to admit that. Yeah, I was saying that right. <laughs> and notice I said a person of excellence, not a, per a perfect person. Like excellence and perfection are two very different things. So I'm not expecting anyone to be perfect, but I am expecting us to be excellent, to be a person of excellence. Okay. So how I know that I am not a person of excellence, it was proven to me today as well. It was proven to me today that I am striving to be a person of excellence. So I hope you like are with me on this one. So let's, let's dig into this a little bit more. Okay. I was watching this incredible video on my way to Darman Studios by Ed Milet. You may or may not know that name. I haven't spoken about him on this channel really. I've, I know of him, I knew of him, but I've never really watched or, or dove into his work. And for reasons that maybe, you know, I didn't connect with him and his energy as much initially. Today, I stumbled upon this incredible video where I did connect to his energy and hence why I'm bringing it up. So he is super influential, um, has a huge, huge audience following, and he was peeling back a curtain on what successful people do that average people do not right so for all intents and purposes we're gonna say we're average okay and you know what i mean i'm not saying you're not special what i'm saying is that there is a upper echelon of people who are uber successful right like the millionaires and the billionaires right like the people that we look up to who are creating the things that we like use every day are Apple computers and devices, you know, like, like there's just people of just tremendous superiority. <laughs> Try saying that word three times real fast. And he was kind of dissecting what they do differently than us average folk. And I was really surprised by his share, by his response. So he says that we think average folk like us think that they do something exponentially better or more than us right like we think that it is so much more that what they do that we like don't aspire to do it because we think it's too hard or we think it's too far away we think it, it, it's too challenging so we like stop ourselves right what he shone a light on in this video, and I will put it in the description or I'll, I'll share it so y'all can watch this video on your own because there were so many incredible nuggets in it. And this is his work, his video, his, you know, information. I just learned from it today, right? So giving credit where credit's due, I didn't come up with this. Obviously, I'm learning it today, like a few hours ago. And what was, was so surprising to me is that he says that they don't do 100% more than us. The successful people who become successful and acquire a lot of wealth actually only do 15 to 20 percent more 15 to 20 percent more and i was like whoa well 15 to 20 percent more is is achievable it's doable right you can do 15 percent more in a day in a week in a month right and those 15 percent deposits into your good bank of good tasks completed will compound and compound means that they are added and stacked on top of one another. It's a financial term that the wealthy, the really wealthy attribute their wealth to. So it's a compounding effect. Every time you do something good and you deposit that into your good bank, 15%, a little bit each time you get that's where you get the exponential growth and the exponential results, right? So why I say this is because I had a video planned for today. 
I got my call sheet, which is what tells me what time I'm expected to be in, my call time, my wrap time, right? And it said I was gonna wrap early. And I was like, well, I'm still gonna schedule my video just in case we run late, which can and does happen. And that way I end early and I can, you know, have the rest of the day to run errands, you know, be with the hubby, whatever it is. It's Friday, let me take the rest of the day off because I have a very early call time and blah, blah, blah. I listen to this video and I'm like, wait a minute, I can do more. I can still go live. If I really do get home in time, I can still go live. That is a way to prove to myself that I want to be a person of excellence, that I want to aspire to do more in my day, that I, on those days when no one's looking, I wanna do more. So on Sundays, that I love to have my Sunday off because I'm like, well, God rested on the seventh day, I'm gonna rest too. Well, what if I add a little 15% there and I do a chapter in my book or I do a you know, a video for my course or I shoot another YouTube video, there's a 15%. That's a little bit more that's gonna compound and add into my good bank so that I can continue to strive to be a person of excellence. So that really struck me today. I don't need to do 20,000 more things I need to only do 15% more, better, more consistently, more frequently, more daily. Do you see how when you chunk it down and chunk it down means when you like break it apart and you like make it into bite size pieces, right? Like how do you eat an elephant? I don't like that one. But that's like a common saying in the States. It's like one bite at a time. So instead of looking at like, I want to be hugely successful and have a huge YouTube account with millions of subscribers. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. What do I have to do? Oh my God, that, that's overwhelming. I, I already put out a video and, you know, oh my God, that's a lot of work. Uh, but what if I chunk it down? What if I do 15%? What if I do a little bit each day, each time, each week, each month? Do you see how those little increments can contribute to the outcome you want and therefore resulting in you being a person of excellence and being more successful in what it is you want to do? I was like, that's doable. I can do 15%. So what this means for you is how can you do 15% more schoolwork? That's something you need to do, right? You need to do better in school so you can get into a college if you so choose to go to college or you need to do better at work so that maybe you get that promotion or that raise or that acknowledgement or that award, right? You can do 15% more jokes or poems so that you can maybe build your, your book of poems quicker and sooner. Do you see how these little shifts can make it more doable? more fun, more achievable. And that was a lesson I took away today that I wanted to share with you today. So I'm curious, what do you think of that? How did that land for you? How does that feel for you? Is that something you think you can take on? Is that something you want to do, right? And I just want to give you that latitude. I want to give you that latitude that you can choose for yourself right? What is it that you want to be excellent at? It could be that you want to be a more excellent human in this world and you want to smile more and be happier and, and not let things affect you. How amazing is that, right? So I just wanted to like hone it in so that we each can do our own little bit to become that person of excellence, become that successful person that other people we see have achieved, but they've done that already, right? They've done that. Like, think about it. How much work has Darman put into his studio? How many teams does he have working simultaneously? But he didn't start with five teams. He started with one. We were a two person crew when we started, when I started with them at least. They may have been one person crew before me, right? Like. Think about it and look what he has compounded and look at the benefit he has done worldwide, right? 
because he continued to do 15% more each time, each week. He didn't go from one video to five from one week to the other. He compounded another one, another one, another one. And now he's up to five or whatever the number is, right? So I just want to share that with you all, my loves. I just want to like be like, wow, if we all could be younglings of excellence, right? If we all could contribute to the success we want in the world, right? At this age, at 18, 17, 12, whatever age you're in, 22, 35, 65, I don't care. But if you start doing it today, where will you be next year, three years from now, five years from now, 10, 15, 20? I am just inspired by that, right? I'm inspired by how little we, how little more we can do. That's an oxymoron. How little more can, have you ever said that? How little more we can do. <laughs> I love that. How little more do you want to do? I'm curious. I'm curious how this is landing on you. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm excited to see what you guys think. Ah, okay, I'm a little nervous. I am gonna join you in the comments, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's do a little Maraca moment. A little Maraca moment for our Friday lesson. Oh, CJ, you're most definitely a person with excellence. I love that. That's your baseline. Now, how much more powerful can you become should you do these little 15% increments now at the age of 18? Like, amazing, right? Okay, CJ, beautiful Friday lesson as always. Your lessons make my heart melt into happiness. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. Nicola says, Giovanna's lessons are so valuable and eye-opening. Thank you. I cannot take credit for it, but I can take credit for sharing, right? When you share, it makes everybody grow, right? If I, like I used to do, because I didn't have a platform, right? I didn't have a YouTube channel. I would learn something and I would write it down and I would watch something, but I never shared it. I didn't know how. I didn't know how to create a video. I didn't know how to edit a video. I didn't know, and not only know, but I was afraid. Spade a spade. I was afraid to, to do videos on YouTube for years years if i would have started my youtube channel when i wanted i wonder where i would be because i when i drove to la to become an actor in 2009 y'all some of you weren't even born i recorded my whole drive from miami to la with the intention of starting my youtube channel in 2009 2010 could you imagine 13 years ago, if I would have started my YouTube channel. I started it three years ago. We're gonna turn three years, guys. Three years, October 1st. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I, that just hit me. Guys, it's gonna be three years. So many of you have been here from the very beginning. Wow, I'm so grateful. Oh my gosh, I just realized what gratitude I have for you all. Three years. CJ, you were 15 when you were here first. And I remember you saying you were 15. You're turning 18 tomorrow. Three years you have been here. Wow. I think some of you, who else has been here since the very beginning? I don't know. We've kind of done some little like twists and turns together, haven't we, over the last three years? Who else has been here since day one? I don't know what to say because right now I'm feeling just so overwhelmed with the reality of where we're at and how far we've come. So that's why you're seeing me kind of going off into space a little bit. I'm just in awe. I'm just in utter awe at how far we've come together, separately, individually. I just think about it think about where you were three years ago think about where we were as a world three years ago and i ask you that because you can see 
how little seemingly we've done on a day-to-day -day basis and yet how far we've come. Can you see, based on this new notion of doing 15% more on a daily basis, how we can, I was going to use the word quantum leap for that, um, but I feel like I need to explain that for some of y'all. So quantum leap, as I understand it, is when like you can leap, right? Oh, I'm going to leap forward. But quantum leap is like you have traction and momentum and you like catapult. That's the easiest way I can explain it because it wasn't very easily explained to me. So I was always like, quantum leap, what's quantum leap, right? So that's how I visualize it. Like, yeah, we can leap forward, like, all right, let's go. Or we can quantum leap and be like, booyaka, right? So that's where I want to like spend a moment with, right? Because if you think about, we lived life, like we have lived our lives the last three years. And I say three years because that's the time we've been together. We've lived our lives just doing what we do, kind of like maybe even robotically, maybe just um, like out of routine, maybe getting into new routines because life, life and world has changed so much. But could you imagine now if we light a little fuel under that and we do it like a little bit more where we could be three years from now? And that is where I want us to spend our time, energy, individually, which contributes to the togetherness that we want in this world. So I just, it's taken me, it's taken me aback, actually, just thinking about that. Mom, Nicola, that's a Morocco moment, y'all. That's a Morocco moment. How adorable is this comment? Nicola says, Giovanna is the goddess, Mona and Angela are the guardian angels, rest of us are angels. My heart melts. That's so beautiful. That is so cute. We're all angels on this world trying to make it better, aren't we? Joy, how do you deal with rude, bossy people? As in, do you have any advice? I do. And my advice is continue to uphold yourself in the highest regard that way they can't bring you down and they can be rude but you realize it's about them and not about you and because you hold yourself to a higher standard and, and a higher esteem they can't knock you down the way they want to they're just having a bad day they just don't know how to let it out so it's not a reflection on you bless them and send them love and be like it's okay. You're rude, but the next person I meet is going to be nice, right? Josh, it's been a whole year since you launched your book. You earned that lukewarm reception. I don't know what that means. It has been a year since I launched my book and it was lukewarm. Are you saying I deserve a bigger reception? Are you saying I need to throw a party for myself and my book? I know, I do. I don't know why I haven't done a book launch party. I don't know. I, I just, I'm not a party planner. <laughs> I love to go to parties, but I, I don't like to plan them. I'm, I get too nervous. I want everybody to have a good time and it's just a lot of stress on me. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Ooh, Sean Starlight, you said something I wanted to address. Uh, yeah, I love how respectful you are, Sean. That's definitely something. Yes, good days, bad days. We got to respect that we all have them. Everyone's got different perspectives. Absolutely. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, respect. You don't have to agree with someone, but showing respect is what this world needs more of right? We can respect that we have different uh, perspectives and different um, opinions, but don't let that carry over into, you know, disrespect, right? Well, I got a little turned around with that whole little conversation that happened there. So what I'm going to do is do what you guys, what I tell you guys to do, right? I am going to let it roll off my back. I'm just going to let it roll off. I'm just gonna let it go. So let's do a little shake out, guys. I know I can't see you, but let's just shake it up, shake it up. Let's just like do a little like shake just to get whatever maybe got lodged in there out, right? I don't like that feeling of like that constriction of like, ooh, something happened. I'm not fully in the know, but I just felt like a, a ninja. 
I have something to alleviate some of it. So, and bring out the big dog. <laughs> So we right now are going to shake out whatever got put in there and we are almost at the top of the hour and I want to make sure we end on a high note. So we're close to the end of the hour and this is the big dog that y'all gifted the channel with all your beautiful contributions and for watching my videos, right? And for being here live, y'all are incredible. Oh yes, Mona. Nobody likes their boundaries being disrespected. Do unto others as you would have done to you. Uh, golden rule. Yeah. And in my book, look at me now. Now I'm getting a little, but in my book, I think it was chapter the first chapter i talk about there's the golden rule then there's the platinum rule and there's even a bronze rule all three are in my first chapter of my book because you can go for all three right why not get all three medals <laughs> all right let's do this real quick Did it feel good for you? It felt good for me. It's a mini way for all of us to reground ourselves into the present moment, into each other's moments, and take the good and let go of the bad, right? So, Jabez Wantan says, you remind me of Allison Day from Darman, like your mannerisms are so sweet. Oh, um, I've never heard that before. I don't know Allison Day, actually. Um, I never got to work or meet her, but I know of her and she's really beautiful. So um, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. It was a really sweet compliment, actually. I am so proud of y'all. Y'all are excellent. Oh, gosh, y'all are incredible. I am so grateful, so proud of y'all. I could say that all day, every day. So I love you all. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Yay. So much love. So much love. I love the love in here. I love it. Bye, everybody. Have an incredible, incredible weekend, y'all. A little Morocco moment. All right. Bye, everybody. Have a great one. Bye. So if you like this video, go check out the others. I got lots of videos on this channel. So keep watching.